Hey guys and welcome back to another match day vlog this evening, not so at home to Exeter. And uh yeah. We're three points clear the relegation zone going into this match. We're on twenty nine points. Leighton Orient are on twenty six, but we've got the worst goal difference in the league and that needs sorting out. I'm quite worried about that. That needs sorting out um soon. But yeah. It's a big week for Knox. We've got Exeter tonight, we've got Leighton Orient Saturday away, and as I've said, that's already uh, a massive, massive game because they're just below us in the table. Uh, I'm hoping for four points out this week, whether that's a win tonight and a draw Saturday, or a draw tonight and a win Saturday. It's a big, big week for Knox. I'm hoping for four points, as I've just said. Um, and if we get four points or more, I, I feel a lot better about our chances of staying up. But yeah, we've got to get smart out of tonight's game first. Uh, an extra very, very good side. I know they lost to the Derby on Saturday, but let's, you know, they're a very good side. They've been on a great run of form before, you know, before they they lost to Plymouth on Saturday. And keeping Ollie Watkins and David Wheeler quiet. It's going to be no easy task. But I've got a good feeling about tonight after we beat Charlton on Saturday. Come on, Knots, we can do this. And get smart out of tonight's game. Let's do this. Right, so there's one change from Saturday. Amiabi's out, which I can gather, because he's not up to full match fitness yet, but Alan Smith comes in. It's a weird one. Um, really struggling to grasp at that one. Smith up front with Stead. It's not exactly what you call PC, would you? But, yeah, everything else is the same. Um... But Smith up front, I'm still trying to get my head around that one. Like he's, he doesn't provide any pace. So, and Smith, can he hold the ball up? It's a centre mid. Smith's a centre mid. Apart from that, it's the same team. Hopefully O'Connor can produce another world either pass tonight. Come on, Knox. Let's, let's do this. Only one player tonight. Just needed my example. That's how you run. <laughs> Exeter. There really hasn't been much in it in a minute. We're just lurking in the final third. An extra defending, you know, quite well at the minute. We need to bring Amiobi on, I think, give some, give them something to think about. Thomas hasn't really been in the game that much. Um, not really a great goal either. Just a, just a defensive mistake. You know, just bounced off him and a really good finish into the bottom corner uh, that came off Colin. But I won't say there's much in it. But we need to get some fresh, fresh faces on if we want to get smart for this game, I think. They're the like. It's a complete mistake. It is tonight. The ref tonight is a complete and utter dick. Yeah. I said before coming to the game tonight, we'll get a shit there. And we've got a shit there. But yeah, just so we hope we can get smart for the second half. Come on, we're getting there. We're get, we are getting there in a minute. Oh, just the ball into show it. Just needs, just needs a clean, a clean finish. Oh, oh. clean header and he'll score. Uh, I think so he could have took it down earlier and just absolutely whacked it. Oh, so frustrating. Honestly, it's so, so frustrating. Cheerio, 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 cheerio. Right, we've just got to attack now. Yeah. Jake Taylor being sent off for Exeter. Ten, ten against eleven now. We've got to go for it. We've got to go. Come on! Come on! Chris, we're going to go fucking back to Duff. 
Murphy. Keep coming, Ray. Go on, Bowler. Win this header. Yeah, no! One of you! Oh, fucking Come hell. on, Nox! See? Two net legs. It's uh, just as we were looking troubling. Just as we looked for an extra goal and get a fucking second. What have I just been through? What? What? Is, I can't believe it. 2 0 down, going into added time. We score two, and it ends up two all. Wow. What? Some of the stuff you have to go through as a Knots fan. Yeah. Glad we got a point out of that. Like, we didn't play great second half, but. I think for Exeter, what, like, what they're all cracked up to be. I know mean, they could get the ball up. When they do get the ball down and play, they, they do play it quite okay, but. Just. I feel. I feel. Oh, we we played well like first couple of, like first twenty minutes or so, but oh one mistake it's one nil, and then nothing as as like the Cheltenham game on Saturday nothing absolute fuck all happens in the first part of the second half, and then next to late on go and get a second, and then the fight back begins in our time. Richard Duffy heads it in from a free kick, um, and there's belief going around the old the the players you know on the ground as well, and then comes to George Grant. Kill shot, he doesn't go in the bottom coin, takes a nick off the next to player and goes in. Buzzing, absolute buzzing. But the pro we're on to 30 points now, up to 21st. Cheltenham are being dragged into this battle even more now. I know they were already in it, but they've gone up to like 19th and 20th like a week or two ago, and now they're being dragged back down to 22nd. We're in 21st on 30 points, but the problem is, oh, we ain't got a last minute winner at Plymouth to win by three goals to two. Fuck's sake, Plymouth. 
So yeah, all in all, 29 points. Now it makes Saturday's game even bigger. It's a massive one on Saturday. I hope I'm going to it um, as well. I said I, I said I wanted to go to it. You yeah, know, I really, really want to go all on Saturday. Oh, that game is massive. I've got a really itchy eye <laughs> as well. Yeah, if I, I don't know. If you enjoyed the vlog, give it a like. Comment down below your thoughts on the game next to not swans or if you like the vlog, whatever. Stay subscribed if you're already sold. Subscribe if you're new. Be safe. Be champions. And as always, Sulu.